Welcome. Today's long-awaited task is paint correction. I'll walk you through all the steps. Here's the old paint. And here's the new paint. As you might have noticed while I took the car cover off, there's a bit of water on the hood of the car. And unfortunately, it started to leave these white marks or at least brighter spots in the paint. This is from a chemical reaction because of the car cover. It was a cheap car cover and now it's no longer waterproof. As you can see, there are tons of white spots where all of the paint has been corroded away from a chemical that washes through the cover and is supposed to be protecting it from water. That chemical strips the paint, damaging it and leaving the car to look like this. Thankfully, this is correctable and I've been meaning to do some work on the car's paint for a long time. A buddy of mine checked out the car for me and showed me how to do some very good touch-up work on the exterior paint. Over here, you can see a section that he did and the difference is crazy. That was about 10 minutes of work and done all by hand, except for polishing with a buffer. The car is gonna need a wash and once it's washed, I'm gonna use a clay bar to get any of the remaining soot, ash, tar, bugs, any spots that are left over off of the car. I use a quick detailer and a clay bar, any generic Meguiar's one will do. It's not necessary for the entire car unless you're going for like a professional finish or something like that. But for this car, anywhere that I can visibly see contaminants, that's where I'm gonna focus on. I'll give it a once over, but other than that, it's not really worth the time. Then I'm gonna use the polisher to put some Meguiar's compound on and then move on to a regular polish that will also be used with the polisher. Wipe that all off and put a fresh coat of wax on the car and it should be shining like new. There are a few things that you want to avoid whenever you polish. Cracks in your paint anywhere or slight chips can really, really, really mess you up. The polisher will completely tear off the paint and leave you with a giant unpainted area, a chip. Along here, where the panel meets the spoiler, that's gonna be another tricky area. You wanna avoid anything that's not painted. So this spoiler, anything that's polished aluminum or chrome, anything that has plastic on it, anything leather, the top especially. Underneath here, if you get any sort of compound on the top, that's gonna to be really bad for the car. So you can obviously clean it off with a little bit of time, but you wanna avoid it as much as possible because it's a real big hassle. I'll just tape the areas off that I'm not gonna polish over and that should be good. I don't have any experience doing paint correction. This is my first time. So hopefully you can understand my process here. I wanna go slowly and I wanna make sure everything is perfect on one panel before moving to the next. Here you can see me washing the panel, then I'm taking the clay bar, giving it a good clay and making sure all the contaminants are off while explaining it to my neighbor, of course. Once I'm finished with the panel, I'll go back over and take a quick look to see if I've missed any contaminants. This tar has been on here for at least a year and washing never gets rid of it. Um, so I'm gonna give it a couple of sprays with quick detailer. Make a nice patty, I'm doing this with one hand, so not gonna be perfect, but quick detailer, patty, and nice gentle pressure going over. And you can see it getting stuck. My hand kind of slows down. And as you work it in, it'll start to pick up those chemicals and all that gunk coming off. Now that we're done with the clay bar, we can block off every area we don't want to use the buffing wheel on and mark with compound the areas you want to go over by hand. Then put compound onto the wheel, tap it on the car, and go in vertical and horizontal lines evenly with good pressure against the car on all sections of the panel. Repeat that process with polish.
For the areas that I went over by hand, I used a clean shop towel with compound on it, then wiped everything off with a microfiber towel, and used another clean shop towel with polish on it. Once I'm done here, it's time to move on to the trunk. So, what I'll be doing here is going over it with a 2000 grit sandpaper and some Windex and uh, blending it in. As you get deeper and deeper into the paint, it should uh, take all those chemical marks off. This was by far the scariest part, especially for me who hasn't done paint correction before. But you just go slowly, do it in steps, and if something needs more, do more. This car has been resprayed, and it's a single stage enamel, which means that it's about two millimeters of paint on the car without a clear coat. That means that anytime I wanna try polishing, I don't have to worry about some sort of clear. I can just restart. Here you can see that I'd gotten all of the marks out on the first pass with the 2000 grit sandpaper. This was not the case for the rest of the car where I had to go over some areas multiple times. I'm gonna leave this section taped off so that you can see it before and after. Here is a more close up and personal video of me compounding and polishing the car. Again, you put the compound on the pad, tap it, and then start very slowly. Make sure that it doesn't overspray and then go in horizontal and vertical lines. You can see it there while I use the polish. And that's it. And now after a couple of drives, here is the finish on the rest of the car. Even after a couple of drives, I would say the car looks mighty clean and that that is a pretty good job. Hopefully you enjoyed and can use this process on your own vehicle. I'd love to hear your success stories and answer any of your questions. Again, I always take suggestions and comments and I love to hear about your own cars. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.